Hello and welcome to the live 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudebiya Palace a number of business, intellectual, media and cultural figures and scores of citizens. His Royal Highness praised the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the patriotic stances of the people of Bahrain throughout the Kingdom's march. He pointed out that the GCC countries should maintain unity in order to benefit all countries. His Royal Highness highlighted the role of the banking and financial sector in supporting the national economy and expressed hope that the global economy will achieve positive progress. He added that the requirements for achieving this progress include enhancing security and stability because previous wars and conflicts in the region negatively affected local economies. His Royal Highness then praised the role of media figures and writers in defending the country, its interests and gains. He praised their vision and analysis of regional and international developments and their follow-up on citizens' issues. His Royal Highness Prime Minister hailed the high regard for and pursuit of education in Bahrain and pointed out that the variety of majors studied by Bahrainis is necessary to achieve developmental go goals. He also hailed the role of higher education institutions in Bahrain and their success in being recognized internationally in various programs. The audience praised the role of His Royal Highness in communicating with citizens and achieving success in economic and social development. They also praised the leadership's keenness to support the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudbiya Palace the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA President, Sheikh Hamey bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, accompanied by CEO of Shuntak Holdings, Vice Chairman of the China Chamber of Tourism and Secretary General of the Global Tourism Economy Forum, Pansy Ho. The Prime Minister highlighted the importance of investment in the tourism field as a pioneering sector that welcomes international cooperation. He noted the Kingdom's keenness to reinforce joint cooperation with China in various fields, including investment and economic and tourism development, through the private sector of both countries. He asserted that the government supports all efforts aiming to encourage investment in the Kingdom by facilitating legislation, and highlighted the mutual respect and desire both countries have to enhance cooperation. For her part, Ms. Pansy Ho expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's efforts to further consolidate bilateral relations and joint cooperation in all fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gurebiya Palace today the special envoy of the Philippines President to the GCC countries, Dr. Amabel Aguiles, who is currently on a visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and the Philippines, in line with the two countries' keenness to reinforce fields of cooperation, to achieve shared interests in the various fields of politics, economics, commerce and investment. He affirmed Bahrain's interest to expand fields of joint cooperation, noting the excellent bilateral ties that are supported on the official and public levels. He asserted the importance of intensifying exchange visits between both countries' senior officials, commending the role of the Philippines community in supporting Bahrain's comprehensive development march. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asked Dr. Aguilas to convey his greetings to the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, along with his best wishes for the people for further progress and prosperity. For his part, the Philippines President Special Envoy conveyed the greetings of the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and his wishes for continued progress and prosperity for Bahrain. He thanked His Royal Highness for his constant support in reinforcing bilateral relations and boosting joint cooperation in all fields in order to achieve the best interests of both countries and their peoples. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, patronized the graduation of the 12th batch of students of the AMA International University, totaling 340 students. The Prime Minister delegated Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, to attend the ceremony. The ceremony began with a speech delivered by the Special Envoy of the Philippines President to the GCC countries and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of AMA, Dr. Amibal Aguilas, in which he expressed his great thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuing support of the university. The Minister of Education expressed his sincere appreciation and pride on his own behalf and on behalf of all employees of the International University of AMA for the Prime Minister's patronage of the event, which emphasizes His Royal Highness's support of the higher education sector. This is for the vital role it plays in the rehabilitation of human resources in the Kingdom of Bahrain and GCC, as well as for other nationalities. The Minister of Education stressed the interest of the Higher Education Council in all that elevates the quality of educational services provided in local institutions of higher education, which continue to make great progress with the support of the leadership of our dear country. He also pointed out that the Council is currently working on the implementation of several development projects and initiatives, including cooperation with the British Academy of Higher Education to implement professional development in the faculty institutions of governmental and private higher education bodies in order to enhance their abilities in coordination with international training standards, supporting the recent approval by the Council to open branches of international universities. The ceremony concluded with the distribution of certificates to graduates and medals to outstanding achievers. The Shura Council held its regular meeting under the Speaker Ali bin Salah Al Salah. The Council discussed a report regarding the Public Utilities and Environment Committee. A draft law was approved concerning registration and safety rules for small maritime vessels, starting with Article 17, which aims to set the terms of ships' safety inspections as well as other issues of related concern. The Council then discussed a draft law from a Services Committee report amending the care, rehabilitation and operation of the Disabilities Act, where the Council approved the Committee's recommendation. The Council also approved a draft law from a Women and Children's Affairs Committee report amending the Children's Act. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. Bahrain Al Shares Index closed at 1,162.26 points, marking an increase of 1.32 points above last closing. The increase was in the services and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly the commercial banks with 84% of total shares. 43 transactions included 3,606,640 shares, or 310,248 Bahraini dinars.